So folks, uh, I'd like to just explain to you a little bit about a creature, a sign that we've seen here. This is the Namib web-footed gecko. And these geckos are endemic to the very sandy duny areas throughout the Namib dune system. They are nocturnal, which means they come out at night, night active. And therefore they have very large eyes. Large eyes to allow a lot of light in, night active. Small eyes like a lizard to allow a little light in, day active. So this chap also has a waxy layer over the eyes, like a contact lens to stop from scratching in the sand where it lives. It has no eyelids, it cannot blink. So every time it changes the skin, it will get a new contact lens over the eye to protect from the sand scratch. And they have to use their tongue to lick the eyeball clean of sand, dust or debris. So the gecko has the ability to lose and regenerate its tail. So this gecko species takes anywhere between six up to eight months to regrow the tail once it comes off. And the tail is used as a defense mechanism against things like snakes, which is the main predator out here. So if this gecko is running across the dunes, it encounters a snake, immediately it's gonna freeze and it's gonna start wiggling the tail so that the snake goes for the movement and not the body. As soon as that snake strikes for the tail movement, the gecko will run, the tail will tag off. Everybody will win in that uh, scenario. The snake will swallow the tail, the gecko will get away. But next time the gecko gets discovered by a snake, it has no tail to wiggle. It will be eaten then, vulnerable, until it regenerates its new one. So these chaps um, come around at night looking for some silverfish, fish moths that you find on the dunes here, and several species of spiders and crickets. Those are the main diet. And they will also lay eggs. Two eggs are laid every few months in the dune system. Um, no mother care. So they will leave the eggs to hatch on their own time. Once they hatch, baby knows what to do. It's pure instinct. So if you look on the sand here, you'll see the disturbance of soil, which has come out from underneath, a lighter color on top of the existing patterning. That's just an indication of something has gone in. Uh, you've got to know what you're digging out because sometimes a snake could be underneath, a spider, a scorpion. So that's why we rely purely on the formation of what we're looking at. But I'm going to dig this out now. Um, I'm going to start from where the sand is. And you'll see a tunnel crumbling. So we're just going to pop this one out here. So what you have there is a Namib web-footed gecko. As you can see, the feet are webbed. Um, it's the only gecko in Southern Africa with all four feet that are webbed. And what I'm gonna have to do now, because these guys are not very tolerant to heat, we're just gonna move into a bit of shadow. So you can see this gecko, if you look at the tail, the patterning matches the body. That means that this gecko has never lost its tail. If a gecko regenerates its tail, it will only grow back in one, um, one color. It will never have a pattern. And this one is probably, I would say at this size, three to four years old. They're only reaching a maximum of about five years out here in the dunes because of lots of natural enemies. So the main, the main enemy for this species would be the Peringuis adder, which is the, the sidewinder out here that we have, snake. But everything will eat them. Jackals will go for them, foxes will go for them, striped polecat, which is like a skunk, they would eat them as well, mongooses. So they do have a lot of enemies. As you saw this morning, they use them for digging their burrows, but also on very, very soft sand, they can walk quite easily they like little snowshoes. But what is unique at night about this gecko, if I get down here and shine the UV light on him, the yellow eye ring and the yellow stripe along his belly fluoresces. If it's a female and she's got eggs, you can actually see the two eggs. They lay two eggs annually. You can see them inside her body. They almost see through. Web-footed geckos are nocturnal. They come out at night, forage around, and before the sun comes up in the mornings, they will dig a new burrow. The other geckos that we find in this area will have a permanent burrow and they'll move five meters from their burrow foraging whereas this guy will forage all night and when the sun's about to come up, he'll start digging a new burrow in the sides of the uh, uh, riverbanks and that's where he'll spend the, the full day and then he'll come out the, 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 you know, at night now. <laughs>